It's strange, isn't it? Ah, we spend our whole lives searching for something. Love, friendship, meaning. And when we finally find it, we're terrified of losing it. Maybe that's just human nature. If you're still paying monthly subscriptions just to use AI voices, you are literally throwing money away. You can now create professional sounding AI voices fully offline with zero limits using an open source tool called Orpheus. And today I'll show you exactly how to set it up. TTS systems uh, don't really, you know, really um, get the correct way to intone like actual disfluencies when people are kind of like talking. TTS systems don't really, you know, really, um, get the correct way to intone like actual disfluencies when people are kind of like talking. Hear that? Most people can't tell the difference, but one costs $20 a month and the other is free forever. Morpheus lets you generate realistic human-like voices locally, meaning no internet, no fees and total privacy. So what is Orpheus? It's a powerful open source AI voice model that runs directly on your computer. Unlike cloud services, you install it once and use it forever. No more monthly fees. Now I know what you're thinking. This must be complicated to set up. That's what I thought too. But I'm going to show you how to get this running in under 10 minutes using one click install method. Plus, I'll share a hack that will allow you to make outputs from Orpheus even more lifelike than Level Labs. Alright, let's dive right in. So first thing first, you have to install this software called LM Studio. You can just open the link in the description and then download the LM Studio for your operating system. And it's a 460 MB download for Windows. Once the file is downloaded, you can just open it and then follow simple steps to install it on your computer. Just give it a path and then it will install it for you. I've already installed it on my computer, so I'll just close it. Next, what you have to install is this software called Pinocchio. And you just have to open the link in the description for this software and then click on this button download. And then you just scroll down and then find the download link for your operating system. I'm running on Windows. If you're running on Mac or Linux, you can download your file. So I'll download the file for Windows. If you have Pinocchio installed already in your system, you'll have to download the latest version of Pinocchio from here because Orpheus is a very new model and it runs on the latest model of Pinocchio only. So this is the 3.7 version. Unzip the file that you have downloaded using any zip extractor and then you just open this exe file and then it will install Pinocchio for you. Once it is installed, Pinocchio will automatically run. Once Pinocchio runs, click on this discover button and then search for Orpheus and then select on Orpheus TTS, click on download and then again click on download and then click on next. So what it is saying that you have to install LM Studio as prerequisite, which we have already done, then click on next and then finally click on install. Then it will start installing Orpheus on your PC and this process might take around 10 minutes depending on your internet connection because it will download the Orpheus model as well which is around 3 to 4 GBs. So it is now downloading the model which is of 4 GB in size. While it is running the Orpheus UI for us that has detected our GPU as RTX 3060 which has 12 GB of VRAM and this model would require around 4 to 5 GB of VRAM and finally we have the Orpheus UI running. Now the next time when you run it you just open Pinocchio and then search for Orpheus and then just click on this logo and then it will start loading the model for you. Once you run it please ensure that your LM Studio is running. If it is not running you can start the LM Studio from the start menu. You can either use it here or you can click on this pop out button and it will open the Orpheus in a web browser and I personally prefer web browser because you have a lot of working space here. Now let me walk you through the UI. So you have this text box where you have to enter your text and you can enter up to 8200 characters. So there's a limit here which gives you around 2 minutes of audio and you have these 8 voices and you have all types of voices for different use cases and the most exciting thing is that it supports emotion tags which not even 11 lab supports you can add laugh sigh and it also supports chuckle cough groan yawn gas we'll be using all this in a bit it says that you can generate 
two minutes of speech in a single request so if you have a longer text you can break them into smaller parts and then run it and one more interesting thing is that you can even run this as an api and we have these advanced options where we can even change the speed of the conversation if you want it to be faster, if you want it to be slower. And these settings, server configuration settings are only applicable when you are using this as a fast API. Let's start with the simple text. Welcome to the Oracle guy. And then we'll add a checkle as well. And then we'll say please subscribe. And let's select Tara here and then click on generate. It takes around 10 to 15 seconds to generate the audio, which is not bad for a local model. Welcome to the Oracle guy. <laughs> Please subscribe. So I think this is the thing which is not available even with paid tools like Eleven Labs. You can add emotions here. You can ask it to laugh. You can ask it to sigh. You can ask it to chuckle. Let's change it to sigh and see how differently it says the same thing. Welcome to the Oracle guy. <sighs> Please subscribe. So I simply love it. Now let's test it with the longer sentence. So, so we'll ask it to say this and we'll add several emotions here as well. And let's take a mail this time and we'll select Zach and we'll click on generate. Now as the sentences go bigger, the generation times also increases, but it's not as fast as 11 labs since you're running it on a personal computer. The speeds are not that bad. If you're still paying monthly subscriptions just to use AI voices, you're literally throwing money away. So guys, what do you think about these voices? Let me know in the comments. I feel these are quite comparable to 11 labs and quite lifelike. And this emotion features, which is not there in any of the paid tools, makes it even more exciting. Once you have generated your audio clip, you can just click on download and it will download a dot wave file for you which you can use in your videos or anything that you are trying to create. So this is a quite empowering tool for all the creators and you can increase the speed if you want a tech to be generated for a reel, for example, where you have shortage of time. Now I played with the tool for quite a while and then I found this hack, which is really helpful if you want to generate the speech for your content very quickly. So adding these uh, emotions at every point would be difficult. So what you can do is you, you can open chat GPT and use this prompt, which I'll be putting in the description as well as in the pinned comment. You can just give this prompt as the first prompt in your chat. So this will enable you to generate your scripts with the emotion tags automatically added at appropriate places. You just have to give this as first tag and then just paste your script and it will convert it in this form. For example, so this has generated this script for casual storytelling. Let's copy this and let's generate it. Let's use Dan this time and then click on generate. You won't believe what happened today. I walked into the meeting all confident and <laughs> I realized I had my shirt on backwards. <laughs> Classic me. And you can say it that you can write a prompt for this and then you can paste your script. You can just copy it from here and paste it in this text box and then select your voice and then click on generate. Your script will include the proper emotions at appropriate places, which is a cumbersome task to enter manually. And this is just unbelievable, guys. This is happening on a local system with such a low configuration, even with your 6 GB of VRAM, you can run this locally. And this can boost your content creation journey, especially if you are using AI voices for your content. Our generation is ready. Let's see how it sounds. It's strange, isn't it? <sighs> we spend our whole lives searching for something. Love, friendship, meaning. And when we finally find it, we're terrified of losing it. Maybe that's just human nature. So although ChatGPT had used this chuckle tag, it hasn't included it in the voice generated because maybe the context of the line was a bit serious. So you can see the model is quite smart and it is able to include the appropriate emotions only with appropriate pauses and everything. This is simply awesome, guys. So guys, what do you think about this output?